Hi everyone, Angela here with Blast Motion, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to analyze and compare select videos which you've captured in your Blast Motion app. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, right now I've opened up my app and it defaults to the live tab, but we're going to pass that up and find our swings tab, which houses any previous swings that we've recorded, whether that's offline or online live videos. As you can see, I have a few things in here. I've already analyzed a video. I've also have a 3D swing tracer that I've saved. I have some offline swings and some live captured swings. And these are the swings that I would like to compare. So I'm going to go ahead and select view two videos. And then from there, I want to compare these two swings with each other. So I'm going to select the three vertical dots up at the up, upper right hand corner and select the videos I'd like to compare. And after I've done that, I'm just going to hit compare at the very middle of my screen. And the app's going to flip your screen to landscape. This is gonna optimize the ability for a coach or even a player to analyze their video. And I did wanna mention up at the very top of your screen, you do see a couple options that you can utilize to analyze these videos. Let's start from the way left, upper right, or sorry, upper left hand corner, that's your mic. So anything that you say once you've pressed that is actually being recorded. So selecting that and speaking to what you're drawing on the screen is going to be key. Uh, the next one is the angle. So you're actually able to draw angles as you go through um, and analyzing these. So if I select that option, I can draw boxes, I can draw uh, line segments, I can draw circles, whatever you'd like to help analyze your athlete with. Um, once I've selected you know, what I wanna use, you also have the option to add tags to the video. So if I wanted to add a tag, I can add a tag about impact, when I start to get on plane, when I shift and when I load. Basically anything you would need to add a tag to on the swing, it's there for your um, options. You also can trim the video the next one to the right is a trim. And then if you wanted to ever exit out of this screen, you would select the three dots and you can exit the video analysis portion. Um, let's go ahead and play this through. And as you can see, I've linked the two videos up and they're now playing simultaneously. And if I wanted to add a tag at impact, all I'll need to do is get my swing to impact, select the tag button, select impact. And I know now that's where I make impact. If I ever wanted to add any extra tags, like when I start on plane, all I'll need to do is start where I start to get on plane. So let's go ahead and start that. And I think I start to get on plane right about there in both of my swings. And I'm gonna tag that as on plane. And like I said before, you guys, anything that you guys wanna mark up, go ahead and mark up. It's yours for the taking. So. Again, if I wanted to record this as a coach, I've pressed record. I've already added in um, my tags that I want my athlete to see. I'm going to go ahead and tell them, hey, look at where you get on plane and look at where you make impact. I want that, that uh, gap between those two to be a little bit further apart. I need you to get on plane a lot sooner in your swing. And let's say I'm done recording. I'm going to hit the record button one more time. You can either dis card this video or you can save and share and if you save and share you have the option to send this video to whoever you'd like that is on your roster so you can send it to specific players you can add a description in there and then you can send that through once you're sending it through it's going to show you you're uploading your videos and that athlete will receive that analyzed video that you have created. But with that being said, that is all you need to do to analyze specific videos in your Blast Motion app.